Here's the do now for this lesson. See if you can identify the four types of slope, name them, and draw examples of each. Okay, the four types of slopes are positive slope, negative slope, zero slope or horizontal slope, and undefined slope. Undefined slope. All right. Today's lesson uh, is going to be about scatter plots and correlation. Uh, let's see what you we already know about scatter plots and correlation. So this may be like a little review. All right. Look at uh, look at the data that we have right here. What is the graph measuring? All right. If we look at the x-axis and the y-axis, we are measuring the average weekly temperature versus weeks into the school year. So according to the data, what happens to the temperature as we get further into the school year? It appears the data, the temperature is falling as we get uh, further into the school year. So the temperatures are decreasing. Now, is it possible to draw a line through this data, a straight line? No, you can't do that. But you can draw a line of best fit. So here's a line that knows I got about half of the points above the line and uh, uh, the other half, sort of like right through the middle of the data. If I drew this best fit line, what kind of slope does it have? So line has a negative slope. And for number four, let's say Frank says the average temperature seven weeks into the school year is 85 degrees. Based upon the data shown, would you believe him? Well, here's about where our seven weeks would be. All right? Do we have a data point there that shows that the temperature is, is uh, 85 degrees? No, we don't. Matter of fact, um, uh, if we use the line of best fit, 60 would be a better estimate. And actually, I don't see a actual data point at seven weeks. Again, that's hence the reason for the estimate. Okay? So I would not believe Frank. Because according to the data, the temperature was about 60 degrees in week seven. Okay? All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, based upon the data, estimate the average weekly temperature 18 weeks of the school year. Okay? Uh, we're going to skip that part of the slide, okay? We need to review uh, the strength of a correlation, okay? When you have data points, scatter plots that look like this, notice that this data follows a negative slope. And it's tight, you know, it's kind of narrow. Now, if that's a strong negative slope, negative, if that's a strong negative correlation, this is what a strong positive correlation looks like. Notice that the data is increasing as you go from left to right. But it's kind of narrow, close to a straight line. close Not a straight line, but closer to one. Okay? Notice the data here, there's no pattern at all. We say there's no correlation. Notice that this data is called a weak negative. It is not as uh, narrow or uh, close to a straight line as the strong negatives, but it's still going in a negative direction. Still trending with a negative slope. And of course, this will be a weak positive. Positively, the data is positively sloped, but it's kind of wide scattered. Okay. Now we also have a number that we associate with these uh, as a measure of the strength of a correlation called a correlation coefficient. For a strong negative, we would assign a value about a minus uh, 0 0.99. For, that's a strong negative. Strong positive would be, of course, 99% or 0 0.99. No correlation would be a 0 or 0, 0 0.0. Weak negative would be like a minus 3 tenths or 30 hundredths. Um, and a weak positive would be a positive, uh, positive 30 hundredths.